Hello YouTube, I'm finally continuing my Red Dead 2 hunting series. As you probably saw in the title, this video will cover the American Robin. Now the Robin is a fairly rare small bird that can spawn all over the map, but finding one can still be quite difficult. Now, I tried many different locations to figure out which one had the most reliable spawns of the Robin, and I believe I found it. The location in question is Kamasa River, which is west of Annisburg, and I'm going to be showing you exactly where to look for these birds in that area. So, as I mentioned earlier, the location is Kamasa River, and I've placed markers on all the spots where I've observed robin spawning. Now, the spawn of these small birds seem to be fixed, and they will always be sitting on top of rocks along the river. Now, I'm going to be playing footage of me hunting these birds in the background, while I explain a few things that I think you should know. Now, these birds are easily spooked, even from a great distance. So approach these areas stealthily, using your binoculars to spot them. Once you find one, get your bow out uh, with small game arrows and use Deadeye to target them from a distance for a guaranteed hit before they get spooked and fly away. Now in this clip you can actually see I spotted a robin over on the rock there. And in this clip I actually get too close. So this gives you an idea of how easily spooked these birds are. And you can see them flying away there. So, the general idea here is to stealthily move along this river, constantly scouting all the rocks in it and along its banks. Usually I would do it from north to south, starting from where my horse is, down to the last marker. Although this obviously doesn't matter. The last thing I should mention is that all the smaller birds seem to despawn during bad weather. So if it starts raining, just set up camp and sleep for a bit, then return and there should be plenty of birds to find. Now with that, I wish you happy hunting, if you found this video helpful. I'm currently also in the process of making several similar videos, including one for bears and wolves. Now, those videos were a lot more complicated to record and will take me a while to edit, but they should be up on the channel in the near future. If you found that interesting, please consider subscribing, uh, as that would help me a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.